I've just finished writing a book with the National Audubon Society about how to draw birds. And this, uh, this my work on the black neck stilt, a lot of that is, is, is informed by an understanding of what's going on underneath the feathers. If you just draw what you see at the surface, um, you are always going to be a, a slave just to copying pictures and you're not going to really have an intuitive sense of how these things move and, and how the shape is going to change with different postures and positions. One of the things that I did in the course of writing this book uh, to help artists get underneath the feathers, underneath the skin, and actually to see even the bones of the bird is I put in a few diagrams of, of the skeletons of birds, and interestingly enough, uh, here is a, 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 a drawing of the skeleton of a black neck stilt. And so perhaps that was uh, a big part of what was in the back of my head when I was, was working on this, this drawing. Being able to understand what's below the surface allows you to, to make a structure that is convincing, that has the solidity of the real animal that you encounter out there in the field. Then you can put your details and your feather textures and those sorts of things on top of that structure and framework. But without a, a, a solid base, something that really gives you a, a sense of the structure, uh, you can have great feather detail, but it's not going to feel like that animal.